Now, our uh, guest today has acting in her blood. As the daughter of film star Warwick Davis, she spent her childhood on movie sets, including Harry Potter. Now she has become a name in her own right, playing plucky lawyer Lacey in Hollyoaks. Please welcome, it's Annabelle Davis. <laughs> Yeah. Are you still pinching yourself when you're watching clips like that back and thinking, I'm in Hollyoaks? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's a very different world. And my auntie is a huge fan of the show, so she was the first person I told. And even still, she's like, you're in Hollyoaks. I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. And it suddenly feels very sort of grown-up soap plan, doesn't it? Because yeah. obviously, with, with children that watch CBBS and CBBC at home, you, you were in the Tracy Baker spin-off. Um, but it's a very different sort of world, isn't it, once you're thrown yeah. into that sort of mainstream soap. And it's hard. Yeah, it, it, it's different on a lot, a lot of levels. I mean, Dumping Ground was great because they really dealt with a lot of cool topics for, for mm -hmm. children's shows, some really hard-hitting stuff. But Hollyoaks, obviously, you've got a massive audience mm -hmm. and there is a lot more you can explore because, you know, it, it's adult and it is later. But, I mean, the main difference, I think, is, is the schedule soap is, is a whole mm -hmm. machine of its own and it's, uh, I'm still sort of learning the paces and stuff, but it, it's fun, it's been, it's been a great learning curve and I think, I mean, after this, I think a lot of people have heard, once you've done a soap, you can do anything. So, yeah. 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 Cool. Well, as a Hollyoaks person myself, yeah. <laughs> tell us about your casting um, uh, process, because it was a little bit different. So your role was originally not for a smaller person, no. um, but, you, but you kind of had an influence on how the direction of that role went. Yeah, it was lovely, actually. Uh, Lucy Allen, who I worked with on Dumping Ground, so she already knew me, and she approached me just saying, oh, uh, I've got a role, you know, it's not written for a little person, but I'd love you to take a look and, and see whether you would like to play her. And it was nice, we had a few Zoom meetings where we discussed the character and, and different ways we could take her because it's lovely to be given a role, you know, that isn't made for a little person because that doesn't really define who you are. But on the other hand, it is nice to explore things, you know, some perspectives from a little person and actually give viewers that because I think it's really important you know, on TV, that you've shown all this, this diversity mm -hmm. and we can all learn from it, really, raising all the awareness. Well, obviously, your... Um, yeah, exactly. Um, your dad, Warwick, is literally in everything. <laughs> mega, mega, mega famous. Your mum, Sammy, mm -hmm. we know very well here. Yeah. She's on the show a lot. Lovely, lovely. Please send her our love. I will. She sends she send her love as well. Yeah. Did they Hi. give you any tips about, sort of, being in the public eye, because, you know, particularly when you do a soap, your recognisability mm. factor shoots mm. up, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I've already noticed that. You don't you don't realise, like, what a big viewership these have. And I think it's incredible. It's really special. Um, but for me, I think, because I've grown up with a famous dad, it, it's oddly normal. And I think, I mean, we'd be walking him down the street and he'd get stopped and we'd just carry oh, on again. I can only imagine. <laughs> we'll be hours. Well, hours. And I bet Warwick talks to every single <laughs> yeah. last one of them for yeah. about ten minutes. Well, it, and it is lovely and we're, we're so grateful for, for, for people who come up to you and say how much they love what you've been in because, I mean, without them, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing, so... Mm. Mm. But you say you've grown up with your famous dad. Was that where you got the bug for acting, watching him, or was it something that you always wanted to do yourself? I think it was. I think... But for me, I, I love art, and at school, Mum and Dad were always very strict, you know, get it all your GCSEs and stuff. They never really pushed it and, and encouraged it because it's, it's a hard business. Mm. So I wasn't so sure, and it was when I saw him uh, in a play, See How They Run, where he... He created it and he used all little actors and the, the set was scaled down. And I was like, OK, this is so cool. Mm. Feeling the audience's reaction, I was like, I want a little bit of that. And so I had a go and I got the dumping ground and, uh, and I just carried on. I think my mum and dad are like, oh, OK. They're like, we'll see how you go. I mean, the minute I'm not working, Dad's like, so what are you doing now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the moment, I'm writing a book and um, trying to keep busy as well, because you never know, like, with this industry, what what the next job is going to be, so... Yeah. You lived every child's dream of, of being on a Harry Potter movie set with your yeah. dad. I mean, and as you said, it's sort of the norm. That, that weirdly became the norm, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, gosh, what child wouldn't have loved that opportunity? It was surreal. Like, my mum was amazing. She would pick us up from school, 
take us down to uh, to Dad on set. And, and yeah, we sit in his trailer, wait for him to finish, then go back to the hotel. I'd be building volcanoes, art projects. He'd be helping me with my homework. And that was normal. That was, I mean, yeah. I had my 13th birthday there. Yeah. Uh, it was like the only, I think it was a Sunday, the only Sunday they worked. Dad felt awful. He was like, I'm so sorry. You want to come in? I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. I sat in the trailer. I had a really nice day. And then at the end, he was like, come on the set. And I was like, oh, okay. So I came on to watch the scene. And then at the end of it, they all started singing happy birthday. Aww. You know, and this was in the great hall. And there's Alan Rickman. Mm -hmm. And wow. it was surreal. Like, 13-year-old me was incredibly embarrassed. I hope but someone filmed it. it. It's actually a golden <laughs> board. So if you go on the, on the special uh, the special features on the DVD, there's a 13-year-old me with a Colin the Caterpillar looking very embarrassed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? But it was amazing. I mean, I peaked at 13. I can't, I can't <laughs> it's, that it's, it's a good 13th birthday. <laughs> yeah. <isn't> it? Amazing. <laughs> and your boyfriend, Charlie, is yeah. he in the business? Uh, he isn't, actually. He has a regular job, which he enjoys. He's a photographer, and uh, he's also working in marketing at the moment. So, mm -hmm. yeah, he is, uh, he's more professional than I And how long have you guys been together? Uh, just over two years now. Oh, wow. Which is weird. Oh. So, yeah, I know. My so mom he's and dad met mum and dad? Well, yeah, yeah, they're lovely. It, it's nice. It's no, nice. Has, have he, has he met your mum and dad? Oh, yeah, we well, live at mine at the moment. Oh. And then they he love it. Oh. No, but they love it because he's cool. So he, they get him doing all the jobs that <laughs> yeah. they... Oh, what is it? Where are you, Tom? <laughs> Annabelle, just before you go, um, Willow, back mm -hmm. in the day, was one of my favourite movies. <laughs> it was just... Brilliant. I think I must have watched it a hundred times. <laughs> and now you are back with your dad in the rebooted oh, wow. version. Mm -hmm. um, an incredible experience for you to be working with your dad on something that is an iconic movie from all those years ago. It, I mean, it still it makes me emotional now thinking about it. It was, it, it, it's so cool. And it was, it was such an honour to, to see dad work back in that role. And um, I don't really cry at a lot of things that I watch on TV, but there's so many moments in that where it really makes me tear up because it's incredible. And it's just so lovely to see a character, you know, 40 years later, and it's like, wow, this mm -hmm. is so special. But it's nice, new viewers can enjoy it because there's plenty of there's plenty of nods to the film, and then it's also refreshing loads yeah, of new characters. For a whole new fun. audience yeah. as well, yeah. then, isn't it? It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Please send all of our pleasure. love to the family. I will, thank all you. Yeah. Best, dude, in some thank way. you. Um, it's great to see you, and best of luck with Holyoaks and everything else. Yeah. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Annabelle Davis. Yeah. Thank you.